Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 3.2, 3.3, number 10, All right? So we want to uh, find the uh, nominal uh, interest rate compounded quarterly that has the same annual percentage yield as 8% that compounded continuously, All right? So let's do that. All right, so we're looking at uh, APY, so let's compute APY. So APY is going to be equal to, so if it's compounded quarterly, so it's going to be 1 plus, right? So we don't know the annual rate R, so that's unknown, but it's quarterly, so 4. Raise it to the fourth power, minus 1, right? So that's uh, just following the APY formula, all right? And for the other one is, uh, let's see, 8% compounded continuously. So APY for that would be e to the r, which is 0 0.08 minus 1. All right? Then we set these guys equal to each other so that we can find r. All right? So first step would be we can get rid of, so we have to isolate this r right here. All right? First thing we can do is we can get rid of this uh, negative 1 on both sides by adding 1 to both sides. Add 1. So you will get uh, quantity 1 plus r over 4 to the 4th power is equal to e to the 0 0.08. All right, so we have that. Now we want to get rid of this uh, fourth power, so we're going to raise it to the right, one-fourth power. Right? right. So if you raise it to the one-fourth power, you would just get the one plus r over four is equal to, if you raise uh, e to the 0 0.08, to the one fourth power would be, oops, one fourth power would be, it's going to be just multiply 0 0.08 times one fourth is 0 0.02. So it's going to be e to the 0 0.02. All right, then after that, uh, we just need to get rid of this one. So I'm going to subtract one from both sides to get uh, r over 4 is equal to right e to the 0 0.02 minus 1 right and then uh, finally we can multiply both sides by 4 to get r is equal to 4 times e to the 0 point zero two minus one All right All right so let's get the value so bring out the calculator All right All right so we want to find four times All right parenthesis and the exponential function so e to the All right zero point zero two all right minus one All right then close parenthesis All right then hit enter All right so it came out to be 0 0.0808 so this is about 0 0.0808 All right so let's type it in All right, so two decimal places, so that's going to be 8.08%. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.